What up players, it's Warboss Tape in this mod and um, I've realized after I finished this video how to paint a Dark Eldar Venom that I didn't do any of the body work of the red uh, Dark Eldar glyphs. So I started filming the tutorial for that and um, the angles were just all blurry and weird and super fuzzy so um, I just decided to to show you the finished product and let you know the colors that I used and um, and I pretty much tried to copy the box art for the for the venom so um, if if you want to use that as a guide it's a really great guide to show you what uh, the design should look like where it should go and actually this right side of the front of it <laughs> my mech right red was open and I accidentally bumped it and so you got some red paint in there, so I just decided to follow with it. But um, the colors you'll need is pretty much Mechrite Red and Blood Red to get the effect of the um, the red glyphs on the Venom. And um, I use that for mostly any kind of Dark Eldar vehicle or um, even <laughs> this uh, Hellion Skyboard. I use the same kind of style and same colors. So, um, should have put that in my Venom video, sorry, forgot to, but um, after the wash has dried and everything has come together, I think the Venom looks pretty good, pretty close to the GW standard, and it was really easy, really quick to do. So, um, I hope all of you prospective Dark Eldar players out there find some use in the tutorial. I also wanted to show you before this video ends, this is going to be I guess like a little um, studio update for me. I started filming my Iron Blaster video and uh, I actually started filming it a long time ago. Um, and I'm, I've broken it down into sub-assembly so the first thing I'm doing is the, uh, the cart I guess that the Iron Blaster goes on. And then we'll be doing you know the, the creature on the front, the cannon. and. Um, uh, the ogre gunner and the rest of it but uh, just to let you know this is coming on the way and this is going to be a little bit more step by step it's a huge project and like as you can see I've only gotten the wood on it done so far um, but it's a uh, that's on the way also the finish to the Imperial Guardsman painting tutorial is coming up as well I haven't started filming it yet but it's pretty much just touching up the metallics and giving you some highlights to do and also had some private messages asking and some comments asking what I would do for oops for um, my own private Imperial Guards so I painted up a test model I wanted to show you this is the guy that I came up with uh, as you can see he's got the same kind of dark brown kind of uniform but with a red trim and a red shoulder guard with a white stripe through it and then white creamy colored uh, I forgot somebody wrote me and told me what those little things covering the boots are but um, I can't remember it off the top of my head and armor creamy armor with some weathering and chipping especially on the shoulder pad so I'm not totally done with them yet I haven't painted the chainsword or the uh, last pistol but I think this is a pretty pretty good color scheme and I actually found it off of Smells Like Wargaming's website. I think I was looking up some alternate color schemes for Imperial Guard and I found it and I thought hey I really like that I'm gonna try my hand in it so um, really liked it and if you want me to do a tutorial on that just let me know and uh, if not then <laughs> then that, that's good too because that's one less thing that I have to worry about um, but it smells like Wargaming was, um, I, I don't know if they came up with it themselves or if they uh, were inspired or got it from someone else, but I was really inspired by by seeing their uh, models and um, encourage you to check them out. I think they're a painting service, just like Blue Table. Um, haven't really had any experience looking at any of this stuff though, I just googled in Imperial Guard uniforms and tried to look for ones that appealed to me. I also have some that I painted that I have to look for that are in um, like urban camo and um, you know stuff like that so I'm gonna try digging those out too but 
this was just for those of you who were curious and um, I just whipped this up in like half an hour so so that's him so uh, let me know what you think and thanks again for watching uh, I want to show this off to you one more time since I'm gonna be getting rid of him tomorrow the venom and uh, just the highlighting I think came out really well with the rotting flesh after giving it some Thraka green wash to tie it into the snot green and that bad ab black really ties the snot green into the hawk turquoise gives it a very very cool ghostly glowy kind of effect and makes the red glyphs really stand out so thanks for watching hope you enjoyed this little war boss taste studio update and uh hope you all had a great sunday and are ready for the for the upcoming week we'll see you in the next video